This is the parallel R L C circuit in KC. Here R L and C are connected in parallel, and one source is connected across it is I. So current flowing in R is I R, and current flowing in L is I L, and current flowing in C is I C. Then, in parallel, in parallel, voltage will be same for all the elements R L and C, and current will be sum of I is equals to I R plus I L plus I of C. Since we know that the phasor of L, phasor of L, phasor of L is like that. This is I L and this is the V L. So V L is 90 degree more than the I L, or we can say that V L. I L and phasor of C here I C V C 90 degree. This will be equal to I C V C 90 degree. So in this case, voltage will lead. And in this case, current will lead. So when will be combined? Then combined effect we will take as a IC in the reference direction, and this one will be the IL in the negative direction. Okay. So if we see both these diagram, that will be if we take in this direction, the resultant of these two diagrams, the resultant of these two diagram as the VL is equal to VC. As V L is equal to V C, then it becomes V L is equal to V C is equal to V. So current will be in this direction, I C minus of I L. If we take I C is greater than I L, right? The resultant phasor will be like that. Or if we take I L is greater than I C, then V I L minus of I C. That should be angle of 90 degree, and that should also be an angle of 90 degree. Okay. So the resultant phasor of this diagram will be this one. When I C is greater than I L, then we will take in the positive y direction, and when I L is greater than I C, then we will take it as a negative y direction. This is the I L minus of I C, and this is the I C minus of I L. Okay. So there are two poss possibilities for the phasor diagram. So for our convenience, we will take I C is greater than I L, right? So this is a phasor diagram of the resultant resultant phasor phasor diagram of. R L C parallel. Okay. Now, when we take this I as a B. Y is equals to V G plus I L B B L angle of minus 90 degree plus V B C angle of positive of 90 degree. So when we replace this one, V B will be cancel out from all all of them. Then Y is equals to G. Plus this 90 degree will be the minus of J B of L. This plus 90 uh, plus angle 90 degree will be the J of B B C. So we can say that Y is equals to J G plus J B C minus of B L. So the impedance triangle will be 
like that we are taking as a IC is greater so VC minus of PL and this is the G so resultant will be the Y and this is the angle of theta BC minus of BL okay. so our Y mod is equals to root of G square plus BC minus BL whole square and what about the angle of theta that will be theta is equals to 10 inverse BL minus BC minus of BL upon G okay and now power triangle so power triangle will be same as this one this 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 will be P V square G and this will be the Q V square of BC minus of BL and that will be the Q resultant as resultant so S is equals to P plus JQ S is equals to root of P square plus Q square theta is equals to 10 inverse Q upon P is equals to 10 inverse BC minus of BL upon G and power factor PF is equals to cos theta is equals to G upon S so that is the overall discussion related to the parallel RC circuit and now in next video we will see the resonance condition of series RLC circuit and parallel RLC circuit thank you